Well, our judges have left the hall to decide which three choirs will be going through to the final in a fortnight's time, and I don't envy them. Have you got a favourite? If you're struggling to make your mind up, here's a look back at all six senior choir performances. Harrogate did a great job at starting. Yeah, I mean, they, they, were, they sounded confident, they were sort of uplifting in the, yeah. in the piece they'd chosen. I wish we'd had more uh, more complexity. They had some really lovely things. There was a refined, mature quality, but I'm not sure. I really was impressed by them. There was almost an operatic yes. quality to it. Were. And it wasn't just our singer. There were obviously yeah. a strong bunch of singers. Yeah, I love the Alleluia's, and it was a beautiful song choice, really. Yeah, but what a sound. Ah, oh, incredible. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not walk. It was just so brilliant for me because at every turn, every phrase, every line, they just kept you guessing. You know, there was no point where you thought, oh, yeah, they were going to do that. Oh, they're going to go here. They had got into it, and they yeah. gave so much enthusiasm to it that I really, it really moved me. Mm. I thought they had a lovely blend and for me that's what choir should all be about. And I think we were talking about their breathing. Um, perhaps, you know, a little bit more freedom in yeah. their movement or in their stance would have helped their breathing. But, you know, it was a difficult song for breathing and yeah. you know they did it very well it's a small point there's a lovely clarity to their their tone which i liked very good diction particularly the final my god and king to get those final consonants with you it's know very good. but i just wanted one of the times we let all the world you know yes. i just think let yeah. go you know give us something extra We were talking earlier, JB, about that, that dreamy quality to their sound. I, I got that lovely lilt uh, in their voices and, and I enjoyed that very, very much. I did too. You know, I thought they had a beautiful quality to their voices. And for me, when it comes to music, you want to be able to enjoy it. You know, you don't want to sit there and think, oh, that wasn't there, that wasn't quite right. You know, you, you want to just enjoy the whole piece and I, I really did. I think the only thing for me that was lacking is I didn't quite think that their pianissimo singing was was as good as it could have been. They were so quiet, they almost couldn't get the notes out. Well, the judges are back in their seats and the choirs are back on stage waiting to hear the result. Only three senior choirs can compete in the final, but I'm sure you'll agree that all six can hold their heads up high after those fantastic performances. Well done. <laughs> Okay, here goes. It's decision time. Good luck, all of you. JB, give us the name of the uh, first choir going through to the final. The first senior school choir going through to the final of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year is Strathan School Chamber Choir. <laughs> Evie, the name of the second senior choir going through to the final. The second senior choir going through to the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year is... Twyford Church of England. <laughs> Okay, Tim, the last choir going through to the final. Gosh, this has been so hard. It's such a judge's cliche, but please know that, everybody, this has been a very difficult decision. But the third senior choir going through to the final of the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year is Cantabile Girls Choir. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, congratulations to all our singers, especially the winning choirs. Next Sunday, we have a special Songs of Praise to mark the 70th anniversary of VE Day. But we'll be back in a fortnight with the all-important final. It's going to be exciting. You'd be mad to miss it. See you then. Tonight on BBC One, newborn lambs and the science of smell. Country file celebrating spring at 6.30. And then at 7.30, gasps of delight with surprising valuations as Fiona Bruce takes the Antiques Roadshow to Glasgow.